Lesson 1, 3, Linear Equations in Two Variables. Linear equations can be written in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, or rate of change, and 0, b is the y-intercept, hence it's slope, intercept form. Horizontal lines are in the form of y equals a number, which would be the, also the y-intercept, and vertical lines are x equals a number. That way and that way. To graph a line, the shortcut method, is to plot your y-intercept first, and this is if it's not horizontal or vertical, and follow the slope to get a couple more points. Then you draw a line through those points. Here's an equation of a line. Find the slope and the y-intercept and then graph it. Well, if it's a line, it's y equals mx plus b. So m appears to be 3, so m, which is our slope, is 3, or 3 over 1, if you want to think of it as a fraction. And the y-intercept, which is b, would be negative 4, or 0, negative 4. So we start there, and we follow our slope, which is up 3, because slope is rise over run. So I go up 3, over 1, up 3, over 1. And then we draw the best line that we can through all the points. Alright, so let's look at slope a little more. Like I said, slope was rise over run. So if I have my two points here, the rise is just the change in the y values, and the run is the change in the x values. So our slope is y2 minus y1, or x2 minus x1. If our slope is positive, the line rises from left to right. If the slope is 0, it is horizontal. If the slope is negative, it falls from left to right. And if the slope is undefined, as in we're dividing by 0, it is vertical. Let's find the slope of the line passing through these two points. I'll call the first point x1, y1, and the second point x2, y2. So then we can use the slope formula. y2 is 6, y1 is negative 2, x2 is 1, x1 is negative 3. We have 6 minus a negative 2 minus a negative is like a plus, and 1 minus a negative, again, that's like a plus. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. So our slope is 2. It's positive, so it rises from left to right. Let's say you want to write the equation of a line. The steps are, first of all, you need the slope, and you need a point on the line. Then you can use point-slope form, filling in the slope and the point. So let's find the slope-intercept form of the line passing through this point with that slope. Well, I already know my slope and I know my point, which will be x1, y1. So I can fill in my point-slope form y1 is 4, slope is 3, x1 is 2. Could distribute the 3, so it'll be 3x minus 6. Then we'll add 4. And there's the equation of our line. Some pairs of lines are parallel and some are perpendicular. Parallel lines have the same slope. The perpendicular slopes are negative reciprocals. 
like one half and negative two over one or negative two or three over two and negative two over three. When you multiply them together, if they're perpendicular, the slopes multiply to make negative one. So let's find the equation of line passing through this point and perpendicular to this line. Well, first thing we need is a slope. So we can get it from our line. So let's take our line that we're going to be perpendicular to and find its slope. So we'll subtract the 4x and divide by negative 2. So that would be negative 4 over negative 2 is 2. <coughs> so we have y equals 2x minus 3 over 2. So our slope, the perpendicular slope is 2. So what is the slope we want? Well, they're negative reciprocals. So if I reciprocal 2, I'll get a half. And I need to change the sign. So it'll be negative 1 half. So then I can use my slope, um, point slope form. My point is x1, y1, so y1 is 1. Slope is negative 1 half. x1 is 2. Distribute the slope. So it will become plus 1. And then add the 1. And there is the equation of the line perpendicular to the given line.